What it do, beautiful babes, your girl, sweet angel. Welcome to Behind the Scenes. Y'all, it's been a minute. I don't know. Yeah, I do know. I be busy because y'all know y'all follow me on Beauty by Sweet Angel. You follow me on Sweet Angel Live. You follow me on Sugar Fingers. So you know I be getting it in. You know that? I do. And honey, I'm right now sipping on some orange juice. I was about to say gin and juice, but Lord knows it ain't no gin and juice time right now. And you know, it's been a minute since I had some gin and juice, so I don't even do gin and juice right now. But it's it's like, uh, what, about 12, 20, yeah, 12, 30, actually, today, today, whichever day this is. <laughs> Anywho, just now trying to get it together. I stayed up kind of late last night. And, you know, my my eyes have to wake up. And I think it's really, it's not even all the time my allergies or whatever. I think it's more or less these bright lights that I'm always dealing with. Perhaps that's it. I think that's it because I wasn't doing this before. I turned this camera on. And when I turn the camera on, the lights come on. So, therefore, guess what? I stopped crying. Anywho... Just trying to give you a little prerequisite on the previous weeks. Y'all, it's been crazy. It's always crazy. There's always something going on. Y'all, listen. Let me tell you something. I don't know. I will assume it was some kids coming through the neighborhood that decided they wanted to, uh, like, break out windshields in the neighborhood. And about three or four people got hit in our neighborhood, and we were one of them. So crazy. Why? I just want to know why. What's going on in the world that people find enjoyment out of vandalism? Okay. So now we've got to up security even more because you know how folks are. They're crazy. They're crazy. And uh, we got to do this. You know, mind you. You know, these are strangers, but, you know, this world is so crazy now that even people that are close to you are foul. So, therefore, you cannot even, you know, be surprised that a stranger would do something silly, okay? But, anywho, so much for that. But, a lot going on here all the time in the, my neck of the woods. Um, I hope y'all are doing okay. Did I ask you if you was doing okay? I hope you're doing Okay. So, now other than that, we're doing okay. Just busy. I told y'all about everything we had going on here at the house when it came to some home improvements, trying to get some things done. And I'm still, like the kitchen, the kitchen is on hold right now at the moment because of the fact, guess what? You know, we had to do the air. Yeah, all that good stuff. And we opted to go ahead and get the backyard done. For those of you who have seen my backyard, y'all know we have dogs. We have big dogs. And they run and they play and they stomp the ground down. And we have trees also back in the backyard. So lots of shade is always back there. So it's virtually impossible to grow grass in half of the yard. So what we decided to do was extend the patio. And that project actually started you know, last week. However, lo and behold, I always tell Mike, only us, only us, listen, time to pour the concrete and the plant breaks down, something with the conveyor belt or something that delivers the, you know, the, the cement down the chute. I don't know. I don't know. But only us. So hopefully all of that will be done by midweek and we'll be able to enjoy our fabulous lengthy patio area um so <laughs> that's all i can say so so i'm excited about that so we had to do what we had to do when it came to that and i'm gonna put in the clips of all of that jazz okay this is what we get ready to do see this is a, a drive down side the brick wall here in my house our house and we're gonna pull concrete on down through the hill. The man said she's gonna buy her a uh, three wheel or something. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna 
next week we're going to put all back there see my grills and stuff back there I made and we're going to clean up around once we do all this then we're going to go around this tree up in that hole there round well, there's Angel the bridging on one of the dogs down through there it's about 30 yards in all and then I had to work on my dogs y'all know it's that time of the year when you have to just get into that undercoat and honey look look like I'm the volunteer each and every freaking time for that but it's okay I love it I love my dogs and uh and they enjoy being groomed it's like almost like a a whole transition in the backyard of the dogs because y'all know my girl Anna passed away and then we ended up getting um cupcake and then cookie showed up Halloween Eve and uh, under the carport so I don't know if somebody dropped her off but we thought she was just gonna be a little bitty frail little chihuahua looking dog but she's turned out to be you know of course part pit bull and she has gotten quite muscular and gosh you can take a look at her she's she's a big girl there's angel grooming cupcake the hair everywhere there's cookie right there cookie says she don't have any hair she goes she gonna eat up cupcake hair and if you can see <clears throat> but she is looking good where's shiny little coco there her turn, they won't let her get no she'll build it by herself because even when they get theirs she said they still not gonna let you get them I mean not gonna let you get her because it's an undercoat break he gets under there and get all the yeah, you stuff out. Got hooks on. Mm -hmm. Ain't sharp. Mm -hmm. Hello, you know you can't whoop that pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That cookie don't, she don't say don't, she don't make no sound. She just be waiting on the right spot to get that neck. That's she getting that shit. <laughs> she knows she don't have any hair on her. Oh, so silly. <laughs> <laughs> yep. In a few more days. Maybe you're gonna get up higher. Huh? I have all that concrete there. All the way to the gate. That's one of my barbecue grills right there. That's the one I was cooking on today when I sitting back there. And we got all this junk sitting right here because we had to get it out the way. There's a full turn BTU sitting right there we just did. They are so jealous of each other when Angel is out here. Acrobats. She's Training get for the circus. I had to catch 
catch you later, baby. Because y'all got me on the floor. Okay, I guess that's the end of the show. Thank you for watching. But anywho, and then, y'all know, look here. Got my wine subscription in. Yes, I did. And I wanted to share that with y'all today as well. So this is it. Yeah, so my Sweet Wine Club subscription comes every quarter and hey it's that time this is it right here um this is just a little poster that comes in there that talks about the wines and what you get it's three wines in the package and these are the three that i got the stella rosa asti rancho solidate resling and the san antonio imperial red I love the Sweet Wine Club. You get these little goodies also. The Drop It Stop Wine Headaches. That's a good one. Yes, indeed. This one is going to reduce your headaches so you can keep on drinking. And then you also get a lip balm. This is Stella Rosa Black Cherry Lip Balm. And Maddie always takes these. Maddie is my daughter, of course. And then what I thought was cool they gave a face mask yeah i got a face mask am i gonna walk around with this face mask on to say stella rosa i don't know but it's cute and i may probably yeah i probably would definitely do that and also y'all know i love stickers so i put this on my little sticker board i got stickers yay how about that <laughs> so cute so cute and then this little card here that talks about the wines that you get tells you basically good fun facts about the wines and here are the wines nicely packaged as always the first one here is the san antonio imperial red paint the towel red it says fun facts about this wine the imperial red is a proprietary blend of delicious sweet grapes and red berry flavors created by the riboli family of san antonio winery in los angeles california and next let's take a look at the stella rosa asti and this one fun fact grapes for our delicious asti are harvested from beautiful vineyards in northern italian countryside this is actually the one that i broke loose and took a sippy sip out of that evening okay and then we have the Soledad Riesling. And the fun fact about this one, the Rancho Soledad Vineyard is located near the original Soledad Mission in Soledad, California, which was founded by Spanish Franciscan priests in 1971. And that is it. Hey, I've been out of, out of sight. I just stopped cooking because I stopped cooking. But today, I got a, I got a project going on in the backyard. Sweet Angel and myself, we decided to put in a photon air conditioner and get in concrete about 30... It's about 31 yards of concrete port out there in the backyard so Sweet Angel and Maddie can play on their little scooter or whatever. <laughs> whatever they're going to scoot on, I don't know. Like Ollie Nightingale said, they're going to do the booty scoot, okay. But I'm showing you this because I'm cooking dinner for the crew. Because I treat people right all the time. Don't you just love it? And as Sweet Angel said, we're going to show you the backyard in a minute. But share me with your world, baby, because I got it like that. Okay. All right, beautiful babies. You know, I'm just checking in. Just want to make sure y'all okay so you can see that I'm okay. And we are doing Gucci over here. Absolutely. So check this out. 
I'll see y'all on the next one, right? <laughs> In the meantime, if you have not subscribed to this channel, Behind the Scenes, go ahead and do that. Y'all, this is where the behind the scenes stuff go on. As a matter of fact, it won't be long. I was checking on my shipment. I got a shipment coming in for some suits. So get ready for that. And uh, what else we got? A lot of stuff. I just got to get to it because y'all know I be busy. My show kind of threw me off because now I'm back, I'm back to rehearsing with my band and all of that stuff now. So it's been kind of hectic, a little bit hectic. But, you know, it's all good. I stay busy and I stay out of folks' way. I stay out of folks' business because some of y'all be all up in people's business and y'all don't need to be up in business that you don't even you don't even need to be up in so that's not me i've never been that kind of person you know some people just can run their mouth on anything it could be that an aunt had a piece of cheese on the back and honey they make a whole story out of it but that ain't me i'll be busy i'll be grinding i'll be working and i'll be me and tended to me and mine that's it that's all i got time to do but anywho i'm out of here what i'm running my mouth on what i want to run my mouth on that's right nothing anyway y'all take care of yourself and uh if you don't mind drop a like on this video drop me some hearts down in the comments and please share your girl with your world and i'll see you on the next one yeah.